Renegade, welcome back to the Bluminate channel. Uh, thanks for joining, thanks for staying with me, thanks for liking, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate your viewership. Okay, I am here in the Galland uh, property. If you remember, I walked you, I showed you the walkthrough and the property demolition. What is going on here? This is week two of uh, the project going on. Demolition is already completed. Right now, we are going through some of the rehab work. We made some changes during the week. I spoke to my contractor and we made some changes. So I'm going to walk you through the changes that we made just to let you see what has been going on. Um, this project is going to take a while. I think it's going to be six to seven weeks total rehab days. So let me show you what has been done. We made a lot of improvement. We've done some good uh, updates. But so far, so good. Things are still not yet together. They are coming together. Not 100%. So let me walk you around, show you what is going on, and uh, if you have any feedback, comments, let me know. I'll be happy to take them so that if there's anything I need to improve on the property, you know, I'll be happy. And by the way, my camera woman has been a wolf. She's been very busy, so I'm all by myself. My dad is behind the camera today, so <laughs> it's just two of us. All right, let me show you around. Thank you. So here we are outside the property. There's a little work going on outside based on what we talked about in the uh, property walkthrough. Uh, we are going to put some beams in the patio area. Um, only update in the, in the outside is just that the front lawn has been cut. Aside that, there's not so much going on here. Let me walk into the house where we have the major updates going on. And I, I will take you from there. If you remember very well, we used to have the wall that extends all the way towards the uh, you know, just leaves us a little room to move into the living area. We kind of like uh, break down all that wall. We put the beam across it. Just the beam helps us to hold the roof. So right now, when you look at it, you can see the dining area along with the living room. That gives us an open concept area. So now, this makes it look a little bit bigger when you look at what the property looks like. When you come in, you have the dining area and you have the living room just looking at it directly. So that gives us the illusion of a very big house. Another thing we did was, there was no wall, uh, there was no door right here before. Remember when I talked about in uh, episode one, about uh, having a study. Personally, I like when a house has a study or you have your own private place. So what we did was, we broke open the wall and we did, uh, we, are, we are going to construct a French door here. So you know, two, two doors, so that you can have access to, uh, if you want to make it a study. This used to be the pantry. Now, there was a wall right here. We closed down the wall. So up, probably the wall that was taken out of here, we put it right here. So now we closed down this wall. This pantry is going to serve as the study for the family that is going to buy this place. And I, I really like it. I like the fact that we have that space. So from the study, if you look at it, this is the living area. So this is the dining area from the door. And right after the study, you will see you have the uh, living area. So, um, I'll go into the rooms very soon, but let me show you another update going on. Um, last week, I talked about this uh, island. It used to be here. It used to be right here. Uh, but during the week, my contractor reached out to me and she was like, I think it would be perfect if we put it right here, right before the kitchen. So, we're gonna put the island right here. Right here is going to be the coffee area. So, we're gonna make some changes and install coffee uh, area you know like a very small shelf put it right here and make this place the coffee area you know americans love coffee especially someone like me all right so right here uh it's gonna be the island we are still gonna paint all the cabinets work is going on this is week two so i don't expect too much changes this is the area that used to go into the pantry that has been closed out that we are going to uh, you know block out the kitchen from the study room. The pantry is going to be here right now. So, this is what we're gonna use as the pantry. We will add more shelf to this area so that it can be uh, a, at least not so big, but moderate pa uh, pantry that can be used uh, for the family. As you can see, work is going on, black splash. So they are doing the back splash uh, for uh, the kitchen area. Very soon, when the back splash is done, we are going to uh, put all the handles in the, in, uh, in all the cabinet, then paint it, I think, gray. Gray is the color that we chose. This is where the uh, electric stove is gonna go into. 
And uh, yes, I like this. I like the fact that this used to be a thing that used to be like, you know, uh, two sides. I like it when it's just one big side for uh, the um, sink area. So work is going on slowly. This is new. We just added the granite to this. As you can see, there's granite on both sides. So same granite will be added uh, on top of the uh, uh, cabinet right here to give us the island. I think uh, the granite is somewhere here, if I'm right. Uh, okay, I can't find it. But I think I saw it somewhere. But I'll let you know if I find it. All right. Uh, this used to be an area where, you know, they used to put the internet and all that fun stuff. But we kind of like make it bigger. We cleared it out. The goal is to put a shelf right here. Shelf, you want to put your pictures, your family portraits, uh, you know, awards and all that stuff, books. So that is what is going to go in right there. And um, not so much in the living area. The fan is going to stay. That is why we covered it up to make sure that it is not stained. Then, as you can see, the floor. The floor, we, we've covered it. That means it's been done. We've put uh, the vinyl on the flooring. So by the time we are almost done, we are going to take out all that stuff and make it uh, look good. All right, let me take you through the uh, extra bath, the second bathroom and the, uh, the two bed and the one bath. Then we'll go from there. Okay, right here in the hallway, uh, as you can see, everywhere is looking <laughs> so dirty. Uh, what is going on? Uh, this is the hallway and this is the bathroom. If you remember the bathroom, if you don't know what it looks like, check out episode one. This is the bathroom. We did a total clearance of everything here. The shelf, everything. We've, we've turned everything away. Even the, uh, even the mirrors on the wall. The goal is to build something entirely new right here. So, we clean out everything. These are new uh, tiles on the wall. So, as you can see, signature where you have, uh, you know, you can put your soaps and stuff uh, when you are showering. So, I like this. I like this in every uh, bathroom. That is really good. So, what is going on here? Like I said, this is week two. We are still going to week six or seven. We'll see how far we can go. Now, this is the bathroom that the other two bedrooms are going to be using. So, let me show you the other bedrooms. Now, uh, disclaimer. My contractor and I, we made a big change along the line. Uh, the initial place we were going to use as the master bedroom, we changed it to the second bedroom. The second bedroom, we converted it to the master. And I'll tell you why when I get there. But this is the room that we didn't do any changes. You know, it's just going to be clean it out, you know, uh, fix the, fix all the, uh, you know, paint it, clean the windows, uh, make sure that uh, the shelf is taken care of, the wardrobe, uh, put some uh, French door there to go, to, uh, you know, sliding door, sorry, to make it open and close. So not so much work is going to be done here. Uh, we're going to clean the, uh, clean the uh, wood on the floor. Now, this place, this is supposed to be the master. If you remember last week, it was totally gutted. This was, this was not here last week. You can see that uh, now, you are not seeing the woods anymore. So this has been covered. Uh, right now, the goal is, this used to be what we wanted to use as the master, but the goal now is to make it the second bed. And this is the reason why. We found out that it's a little bit smaller. And if we decide to go with the plan, then the master is supposed to be bigger and we are kind of like restraining ourselves and it's going to affect the cost or the final price of what the property is going to look like. So we changed our plans and part of the changes were let's make the closet in this other um, bedroom to make it uh, you know, a full bed. So here is the closet. It, it doesn't look that big right now. It's a little bit dark in here. but. By the time we are done, we put the lightning, we put the lights, you will see what it's going to look like. It's definitely going to come out really good. Then, we decided that, okay, the second bed that's supposed to go straight to the uh, other bathroom, we turn it into the master. This is way bigger. So the goal now is make this one look bigger, uh, clean it up, adjust the shelf, make sure everything is looking great, and Rather than closing this wall, I talked about closing this wall last week. No, we're not going to close it anymore. What we're going to do right now is, this is going to serve as the entrance to the master bathroom. So as you can see, this is totally new. We kind of like wall off the second, bath, the second bed from the master. 
broke this into two the other side is the um, closet for the second bedroom right now but right here we have the master part so this is where you're going to have your mirror when you want to brush in the morning maybe here but this is where you're going, you, are, you are going to have your toilet uh, sitting area um, then this is the bath so the bathroom is going to be here that is the sitting area for the uh, bathroom so this is coming out really really good I like that you know in between we make some changes and the good news about the changes it cost us nothing you know we actually made these changes before we started the uh, real project during demolition that was when we found that we want to make these changes so you know talking about making changes we learned from the first project we were already halfway done when we made those changes but this time around we make sure that we agreed we made those changes and it cost us zero dollars you know in uh, how we change the project scope so that is really good let me show you the garage there's not so much going on in this uh, right now because this is the first phase of the of the rear by next week or two weeks time i'll be able to show you a lot of more changes that has been that has been done all right so here we are in the garage uh, if you remember there used to be a door to the garage on the left we've taken out the door and we put a garage right there the other one obviously uh the garage came with the property the goal now will be to paint it to look alike. We've installed a lift master, so that makes it easy. Let me open the garage. All right, so whoever is buying, will give them the remote. Uh, they can also use their phone to access the garage. So this is me coming out of the kitchen area. This is the kitchen area and going straight into the garage. Yeah, the garage is where we store all the equipment when we are busy working, as you can see, all the things that we are going to install, the, the, uh, the fridge, the dishwasher, the stove, everything is right here in the garage. So the garage is like the work area for, for everybody. Uh, definitely we're going to put, uh, cover all this by the time we are done. Uh, like I said, this is week one, so work is still going on, endlessly. And by the way, we are also doing another project in Dallas. If you, are, if you haven't checked that out, you know, maybe that one is going to come out in one or two weeks when we are done. That is the dumpster. So the dumpster for where everything we are doing is uh, going to. Uh, this is uh, the area for the barbecue. It's going to be cleaned out. It's just like an outdoor kitchen, you know, uh, by the time we are done. So let me move back so you can see what the garage looks like from uh, out of here, you know, from the outside. And right there is the ADU. Uh, the ADU, like I mentioned last week, nothing is going to be done there. It's just going to be an addition. Whoever buys the property can decide to fix it. The cost of putting it into a self-contained is like around 10000 And uh, we don't want to spend that much money, especially because we don't have the cons to support it in this area. But I'm pretty sure it's going to come in handy to whoever decides to buy. All right. What I like most about this property, like I always say, is the, is the, is the garage area. So big, so free. There's so much space right here. So it's definitely who's going to buy this it's someone that has that wants a lot of space so he has a lot of space that you can definitely you know make use of and play around with all right so that is the update today uh, not so much uh, for now by next week or two weeks time i'll come around i'll see what we have going on and i'll let you know how the project is going stay tuned thanks for joining me stay with us that's my name i'll see you next time